What is going on, gamers? This is Jaded from MMO, and welcome to my POW World playthrough. Um, everybody's playing this game right now, and I've played it for about 60 to 70 hours already off stream. Um, I'm going to do this YouTube series right here. I'm going to keep everything exactly the way it stays on uh, the normal mode. And then I'm going to be doing a streamed version. I'll be playing on Sundays at twitch.tv slash MMOing. And that will be a little bit more modified for streaming. I'm probably going to have no drop rates and things like that. So I don't drop all my stuff and uh, maybe up the XP a bit and up the uh, gathering. But on this game right here, I'm going to be playing this straight through from beginning to hopefully end. Just the way that standard uh, normal mode would be. I'm not going to mess with any of the settings. We're just going to go. We're going to call it Papaleo Islands. And I'm going to actually put YouTube right here. So I know which one I'm playing. And then we're going to leave everything exactly the way it is on normal mode, including the drop everything when you die. And we are going to try a game just like that. Let's go. Let's see how far we get into it today. Once I get through this particular part, this will just be recorded. I might be editing some of the more strenuous uh, activities out, um, like the mining and, and, and uh, dead time stuff. Let's do my preset. For this game, I am going to be Purple Hero Girl. A very skinny version of Purple Hero Girl. Purple Haired Girl. There you go. Face. Um, mustache? Yeah, it looks kind of cute, but no, let's, let's go ahead and keep the cuteness. Yeah, I think that one right there. Hair? Uh, I think she's fine. Voice? We're the two number one. Sounds good. And there we go. This is going to be my full playthrough. Of Pal World, so I've been watching shit tons of videos, tips and tricks all over YouTube about a lot of different stuff in this game. And as I said, I played a lot of the game already, um, so I have a pretty good grasp of what I want to do. Um, it's crazy because the first time you play through this, you actually learn a lot of things that you wish you had done differently. As of right now, you can't respec anything, you can't change any of the points you put into anything, so. You kind of have to guess when you're starting. Um, I'm going to show you guys, or at least tell you guys, some of the things that I've learned while I play, so you know what not to do and what to do. Um, obviously, you want to get as many of these as possible, because it's your fast travel points that's going to get you around the map. Um, when you kill yourself, which you can't really do, or when you die, um, it lets you choose a starting point again. And there are multiple preset starting points in the islands. There's one over here, 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 there's a couple over here, and there's two up here. Um, so you can kind of jump around and explore from different areas to kind of move towards the center of the map. This map is much bigger than it looks right here. There's actually land all massed at all through here. And there are some areas that you can't even see on the map right now. There's an area down here. There's an area up here past the volcano. Um, and there's a lot of other things that we're going to slowly open up. The best way to do it, at least for me, is I go from from fast travel point to fast travel point. Um, why did it say I had a... I thought I saw... That was weird. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is talk to this guy here. He will tell you it's been a while since someone who didn't sink, stink of pals washed up here. This island's a living hell. The people I came with aren't with us any longer. Those damn pals ate every one of them. You'd be careful out there. Here, take some basic supplies. You need to toughen up if you want to survive out there. And he gives me ten wood. What can I do with ten wood? Well, I can build... Hit the B button here. I can build a primitive workbench. Boom. After you put it down, you build it up. And then you hit F. And here you can make a wooden club, a torch... A stone pick, a stone pickaxe, and a stone axe. Before I build anything, I'm gonna run around and collect some materials right here. I'm gonna hop down here and grab anything on the ground. So we've got stones laying around. I'm gonna get some berries because berries are very important to keep your health going. When you start to starve, this is a survival game. You do have to eat and you do need to feed your pals. And food becomes a necessity if you're playing a normal mode. I'm going to grab this wood over here. 
There's a couple other things I want to see if I can find real quick before I go back up there. I'm going to need 10 wood and 10 stone for my pickaxe and my regular axe. Your stamina bar there is red right now because I just depleted all my stamina. You have to wait for it to fill back up before you can use it again. That is for everything. For mining, for swinging your weapon, for your dodge rolls. See how fast it depletes. So you want to build that up. And we'll talk about stats as soon as I get to level 1, which I should actually may have already did. I did. Alright, so here's your stats. You can add a stat point each time you level. Health, it'll give you 100 points. So that brings it up pretty quick. Okay. Stamina gives you 10 points, which is worth it because stamina is very important in the game. Attack gives you 2 points. Honestly, dead stat. Don't put anything to attack. I would not because you get... Better weapons that do more damage regardless of whether or not you put anything into attack. Your work speed, you get a 50 points per, but there's really no point in using work speed either because work speed, your pals are going to be doing all the work for you and you can get them awesomely. They're much faster than you anyway. So when you get them built up, they will be working so much faster than you possibly could. And the whole point of work speed is letting the pals do all the work for you so you don't have to. Weight, very, very important. Weight is how much you can carry, and when you're trying to transfer materials, this is a must-have to transfer any kind of ore, which you're going to need a lot of in the game later, um, any kind of stone or wood, anything that gets super heavy. So, the three stats I focus on are health, stamina, and weight. I'm going to focus on weight first, and I'm pretty much going to keep those evened out. Each time I get a level, I'm going to put it into one of those. And the cool thing is, when you level up again, it shows you how many points you've put into it. So you can keep track of what you're putting points into if you have a system like I'm doing where I'm going to be splitting my points among three different stats. So we can, what we're going to do, I'm going to need 30 wood. So we're going to punch this tree. This is definitely the slowest way to do it. In fact, I should have just made the club. But the reason I didn't make the club is because I actually want to make the torch first. Okay, let's just go back up. Now we can make the torch and the club. Or even better, think smart. Play smarter, not harder. Let's go ahead and make the pickaxe. Yeah, we dope. And now we can use the... Make sure you grab the thing you made from the table. I do that all the time. And it's a horrible thing when you run somewhere or port somewhere. And then the item you made is still sitting back at the bench. So we're going to get a bunch of stone this time. Let that fill up. Yeah, see, this is one of the reasons for the stream. I'm probably going to make it so I have max stamina. Because... It would be a lot easier to do this. This playthrough is going to be long and slow. Hopefully, um, you guys will bear with it. If you're playing the game, you understand the grind. Um, the cool thing about it is you can modify all these settings in the pre-screen, in the settings options before you go into your world. And you can change them at any time. So you can actually change them and make them crazy good for one play or to get something done and then turn them back the way you can go to hard mode, go to easy mode, you can change everything. It's all customizable at any time during your playthrough. You can always change it and change it back. So that's kind of a cool thing. So here we go. We're going to go in here and we're going to make the stone axe. There we go. And we'll take the stone axe over here. Yeah, I left it in the bench. Look at this. Just told you guys this. Just told you. Just told you not to do that. And then I did it again. It's a constant. It's a constant. Um, the, one of the reasons I want to play through, I have not been able to stay without modifying the stats because it gets so difficult and so grindy. Um, if it starts to get to a point where I'm not having fun, I am going to increase stuff again. Just because I really don't want to not have fun playing this game. I've had a blast so far. Like I said, 60, 70, uh, 50 or 60 hours in. Um, I've got uh, one legendary at one point in one of my playthroughs. So I got up to that point. I think my highest level was level 45. I'd just gotten the assault rifle. So I decided to start over because I was playing on Xbox. 
And there's a few things about Xbox that um, are different than the Steam version. First of all, on Xbox, um, you can only have four players in a world, and there's no dedicated servers um, or official servers you can play on, technically. Um, in the Steam version, you can actually make your own dedicated servers if you have the hardware to do that through Steam, and you can also have 32 players on a server. And there are also uh, official and community servers you can play on with other people out of the box. Uh, another thing that's crazy is the Xbox version. If I check my stats here, see my name is MMOing. On the Xbox version, everybody is player and a number. So I was like player 837 or something like that. And also another cool thing, which I don't have pals to show you, but you can change the names of your pals. You can give them nicknames, which you cannot do on the Xbox PC Pass or the Xbox uh, game version, as far as I know. So it's, uh, it's I just bet the 30 and bought it on Steam because I have been having such a great time in this game. And I do want to be playing it a lot more. So I am going to do that for sure. So now we have an axe and we got some wood and I'm running around in circles because I'm talking and I'm getting lost. Let's go ahead and make a torch because a torch is also very important right now at the very beginning of the game here. Because as soon as it gets dark out here, which it will, it's going to get very cold. And one of the ways to keep yourself warm is light your torch up and hold it. Because that might be the only thing that keeps you alive through the first night. Survival, baby. Survival. And then we'll go ahead and make the club so I have some kind of weapon that I can hit things with. So we can actually catch some of our pals, our starter pals. Um, I should be able to get through a pretty decent chunk of this in the, in the next 20 or 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to break this down. You hit B for build mode and then you hit C and it puts you in destruction mode. Be careful because it keeps you in destruction mode until you hit escape. Um, I've accidentally broken many a base trying to build and, and destroy things because I forgot that I was in destruction mode. What we're going to do, in the game, eventually you'll be able to set up three different bases. Um, I'm going to catch my first Pokemans. I'm going to grab this guy. I said Pokemans. You know what I mean. Pals. First pals. I can't catch a pal. You know why? I don't have any balls, do I? I am. Oh, I do have one. There's a 100% catch rate on that one. So I caught me a cat, uh, Shivalva Kativa. That's what they're called. These guys, I'm going to kill them. Um, just because I want the resources and I don't have any more balls left, but I need the wool. We're going to need wool to make our clothing pretty soon. Now, one of the cool things about the system here, let's go ahead. This is very Ark Survival, if you've played Ark. So you have these technology points. You have ancient technology points, which are here on the right. Um, those are from dungeons, and then you have regular technology points, which you get each level to buy certain things. You can't get everything, so there's certain things you want to get. You definitely need a pal box. You definitely need your pal spears. You definitely need a campfire. You definitely need a wooden chest, and you definitely need a repair bench, and you definitely need wooden structures. So that's most of my stuff. I'm not going to take the arrows of the bow. I don't do that because right down here around level 10, I'm going to get the... Where is it at? The three-shot bow. Um, arrows you can take now if you'd want to, but there's no point because I don't have a bow, so I'm going to let that point chill. I'm going to get a bed because we're going to need that. I'm going to get straw pal bed because we're going to need that. I'm going to skip the repair kit for now. I'm going to get cloth because that I definitely will need, and that's where we're at right now. So our first goal is to make all that stuff, and the best way to do that is set up a base and just start kind of getting things going. You get the ability to make three different bases in the game at some point, this base is going to be like a starter base that I'm going to use for now. It probably will not be my base forever. Eventually, we're going to do a giant base move. And when we do that, I will show you how to utilize the gap, the grappling gun to move massive amounts of things around from base to base. And you will want to do that, especially later when you have your minds going and you have different areas that you're getting things done. You're going to be needing to transfer massive amounts of material. <coughs> so... I'm going to look for a good spot for my base. And right here, I've already noticed there is ore here. Ore is one of the most needed things in this game. It is one of the most important materials because you're going to need ore from the beginning to the end of the game. When you get to end game, you cannot craft shit without ore. You're going to need refined ingots, which are ore and coal. And you're going to need... This is just regular stone. And you're going to need um, regular ingots, which are just ore. So... Ore is going to be very, very, very important, and you need thousands and thousands and thousands of them. The cool thing is, when you put down your base in Power World, 
Go, go, go. Here we go. Um, there's a circle that encompasses this base. This is the center. You're always going to spawn at the back of this, not where I'm looking, but behind it. So I always want to set it up in a way where you know where your stuff's going to be. I'm going to go ahead and put the ore behind me. I'm going to set this up, making sure I get as close to those rocks as possible, but also encompass this and that and the trees because the trees are going to be important. So I'm going to go right here in this little patch here. I'm going to put the pal box here. And we'll build it up. It takes 10 seconds. And once you have a pal box built, it will put a blue ring around the area that you can build in that counts as your base. You can see a lot of that water over there is wasted. You can't do much in the water. You can kind of build over some of this. So I, I can probably utilize most of that space. Over here, you can see uh, on the bridge there, there's the, you get the blue line. It's right around the edge of the cliff, exactly where I wanted it. So all this is encompassed inside. And then on this side over here, you can see up on the wall, it went up the wall just a bit, which is perfect. It means that the tree and these mines are all inside that blue line. So all these should be, my pals should be able to harvest all this stuff in this area. So that's a good start. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and gather some wood. And we're going to get a repair bench down here. Let's build the repair bench if I can right now. Yes, I can. Since when we spawn in, we're going to be facing right here. It puts you right here. So let's go ahead and set up our little workshop right here. And one of the rule of thumbs that I keep for myself is every time I put down a bench, I put down a wooden crate. I want to have something next to everything. Um, one of the reasons is the piles will automatically move things around and it they don't they'll take it to the closest one. So anywhere there's a bunch of resources, like over here where there's all these trees and stone, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a crate down right here as well. Which I don't have enough wood for, but I'm standing next to a bunch of trees, so we can remedy this. Do do there's gonna be a lot of grindy mining stuff in this playthrough. I really don't want to turn on anything. And like I said, if it gets to a point where I'm really hating it, or even watching this gets too slow, I want you to comment so that we can speed it up a bit. Because we can always change the amount of things, or the amount of uh, materials that we're getting, and the health of the things we're breaking. That will make a huge difference in the playthrough. But I kind of, like I said, also want to try the game out the way it was intended to be played. Hey boy, you home already? Yeah. Oh. What's up, gamers? Yeah. Um, what time is it? Like three something. It's two fifty nine. Um, go ask mom. Well, if if they can come over earlier. Yeah, I just realized how hard this is gonna be to stream this, but I'm gonna or to play it through like this. We're gonna do it anyway. Okay. So I got a bunch of wood. Let's get over here. I'm going to put one more wooden chest down right here. Just right here where all these uh, different materials are. So that when things are being mined and harvested, they can be put to the closest chest possible, which will be this one. I don't even need to build that because we're going to get some pals in the base now. For now, I have one pal. This is my pal I caught, Kativa. Um, Kativa will go and work on that if you throw it down. If you throw it down anywhere, actually, even if you're at a workshop that's not inside a base, and you throw a pokey, uh, pokey pal at it, pokey, God, I can't get rid of that word. If you throw a pal at it, they will continue working on it as long as they have the skill to do so. But if you put them in your base here, we're going to deploy a pal to the base. F, there's my pal. Boom, he's in the base. Now he will just randomly walk around inside this blue circle and do things. Right now he's going to go mine. Oh, he's picking that up first to bring it back to the closest crate. Another thing, I should probably put another crate over here. Because the time it takes them to walk around is going to be vital time wasted. The more boxes you have around the things you want them to be doing, the quicker they're going to get things done and the faster you're going to get materials into those crates. And the cool thing is the crates... They will get completely un completely disorganized because you, they put stuff in whatever crates closest to them. 
But it's cool because what's gonna happen is um, everything in all the crates is shared in the base. So if I hit build and I go to wooden chest here and I wanna build another one, it's gonna take materials from all the other wooden chests in the base and make them work just the way they're supposed to. No matter what materials are in what crates, where in the base, they're all usable as long as you're inside this blue circle. Um, I can show you this. If I were to take this wooden chest, it says I can build it. If I run outside of the blue circle, right here, I can still build it. But if you look at the numbers, at least that's one way to show it. So I have 47 out of 15 and 9 out of 5. I go through here, I have 49 and 13 out of 5 because it's adding the ones in the crates. The problem is I actually had stuff on me. That's why it didn't work the way I intended to show you, but it still works. So if I were to go ahead and drop all the stuff I have on me into this crate here, boom, 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 sort that, sort that, wooden stone, uh, and the seeds we don't need on this. Now, I run over here, I'm inside the blue circle, and I want to build, I hit B, it's my wooden crate, the second I walk outside the blue circle, I do not have materials, it says insufficient materials, but then I do, but then I don't, but then I do, but then I don't. Because all the materials in every box in this entire area, I don't want to build that, stop, um, are all stored and usable from anywhere within inside this blue circle. So it does not matter what is in what crate. Um, you are going to try to organize later, and it's going to be difficult because, like I said, the POWs will put whatever the fuck they want into whatever the fuck crate is closest. One of the things I do sometimes is once I start building some of the bigger things in the game, like the mining facility and the logging facility. What I do is I put a chest next to them and I break it up and put like one of each wood in every slot so they can only put wood into that crate. That will kind of help you keep organized if you want to. There's a wandering vendor. What if I catch him right now? Can I catch him right now? Um, I'm gonna have to club him to death. Let's try, he's a level one. I'm just gonna hit this guy. Hopefully he doesn't kill me because he's probably way more powerful than me. Whoa. Oh no, I used the only ball I had. Okay, he's gonna die, damn it. And there's a Pokeball that I threw at him. Oh, that sucks, I should have all. So if I'd caught him, I could have actually used him. I don't know if you can catch him this early. But... So this is a wandering vendor, they actually sell, you do collect gold coins throughout the game and you can buy and sell things to him. Um, I killed him and I missed the Pokeball throw, which I need to stop calling a Pokeball, it's a Pal Sphere. <laughs> Oh, so hard. Um, yeah, I, I, I would not classify this game as Pokemon with guns, which a lot of people have said, and that's kind of the way that the uh, the the initial um, previews of the game that came out looked. Um, but it's a lot. There's a lot of the Ark survival feel here. There's a lot of survival game and adventure game. Like very, it reminds me of Legend of Zelda a lot too. This game is like a cross between Ark Survival, Legend of Zelda, and Pokemon. Is that's that's how I'd classify it. All right, so let's get to work. Let's get this base going, moving quick. We've already been here 23 minutes. I bet I can get this whole thing going in 30. Let's see what we can do. So when you hit V on these, did I just say, when you hit V on this, it shows you what you need to do to upgrade your to upgrade your base. I said it right. So we're going to base upgrade. It tells me I need to build a shoddy bed. Um, I'm going to build a structure real quick, and I'm going to build it kind of right here in the center. Um, get this easiest way to do this. We'll put some foundations down. Um, if you right click, you can keep building. If you left click, then you actually have to, it goes away and you have to go back in here to the next thing. But I'm gonna be doing a wall here. Um, you know, now that I'm looking at this, I wanna make it pretty. See, this is just me being me. I'm gonna destroy that. You get all the materials back when you destroy stuff. I'm gonna actually face the, the base toward the water so I have something cute out the window. You see right now it's getting dark. In a second you will also see I'm starting to get I'm hungry. Right click, make sure you eat. And also it's about to get very cold. So I'm going to go enhance stats here. And you can see I put one point into weight. I'm going to go ahead and put one point into stamina. Yeah. And okay there. She agreed to five. Okay. Did you talk to my two? Yeah, my, cool. my agreed to five. Okay, we'll go pick them up at five o'clock. It's one hour. Oh, it's like two hours, but we'll get there. All right, sorry about that. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, build the base so that the window is facing this beautiful view of the lake, just because. So we'll do some foundations first. 
I want to be careful not to put the foundations over any of the resources because they will despawn and not respawn again. All these resources are renewable. They will come back in the exact same spots they're in right now unless you build something over them when they're not there and then they will not respawn. So that's something to remember. I'm going to build a three story, at least two stories here. Let's grab a wall with a window. Right here. And we'll put another wall with a window on top of that one right here. And we'll build a ceiling and roof right here. And I keep forgetting to hit the wrong the right button, so I'll have to keep going and redoing it. So this one here. And we'll have some uh, steps going up to here. And we'll throw some steps on this side too, just to make it pretty. Oh, fuck it, let's just go ahead and TP these guys in, because this is going to be where my uh, pals sleep anyway. We're going to have to go get some more wood in a second. Um, we do need one more roof, I believe, up on the top. I have not enough. Oh, I do have enough. Okay. Boom. And that seems about good. As long as you have your bed made underneath the roof, it doesn't really matter if the bed itself doesn't, if the if the structure itself doesn't have walls. If you're playing in a PvP server, or not PvP server, but multiplayer server, you're definitely going to want to build yourself kind of a more secure base. But for now, this is perfectly fine for me. As long as I can get to my bed and sleep, there won't be any issues. Okay. Three seconds. Bed is done. Alright, so I can sleep in it, and sleeping in the bed will make it morning. I was not awake, so now the light's coming out, and your pals, uh, your, your pals are ready to go again. I'm going to go ahead and build one more foundation here, and then we're going to see what we need for some beds for our Poke Pals. We don't have it yet, but we definitely got them already. So we're going to go back to technology. The straw pal beds, we do have. We're going to get the common shield, because we need a shield. The spear is going to be my primary weapon for now. We're going to need some clothes. We're definitely going to need a feed box. Let's just grab that too. And that's all we can do at level 4. That's all we need right now, so let's get in here and do this. So, feed box, you want to put that somewhere in the center of the base. Because the feed box is going to be some place that they are going to constantly. Since you spawn here, I'm going to go ahead and put the food box right here in front of it. I'm going to need wood. Let's go get some more wood. But if I put the feed box right in the middle, then everyone working everywhere will have access to it. Because your Pokey Pals will stop. I keep calling them Pokey Pals. I can't get rid of that. Your Pals will stop working when they're hungry and go find the food. They will go to the food box. So if the food box is on one side of the base, if it's not centered, then they have to walk all the way across the base to eat. You can put multiple food boxes down too. And you can even put them around all the uh, the portions of your base where most of the work is being done, which will actually eliminate the time that they're wandering instead of working. And you want to have the most efficient work pals. you got to keep them with food, and you got to keep them with sleep, and they have to be able to access those things easily, especially while they're working. So... Let's go ahead and build the straw beds. That's not really a comment. That's from earlier. I'm not streaming right now. I'm recording. I'm going to go ahead and see how many of these beds I can get on this edge. Is that real? Is it real? Yeah, like, is that comment, like, real? It looks like a fake comment, actually. Like, is someone actually trying to give you a promotion, or are they just trying to scam you? Sure they're trying to scam me. Probably. Scam you, motherfuckers. What's up, Kibo? Well, why didn't that not work? Oh, I need more materials. Ah! Okay. Mm. What? Ooh. What are you trying to do, Ren? Oh, it's a picture. Oh, you took that? Yeah. Very cool. Where'd you guys go? We went to this like, really pretty desert lake mountain place, motherfucker. That's awesome. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and beat the crap out of some more trees. Get some more materials. My stamina regenerate. Yeah, the stamina thing is going to be really shitty for a playthrough where I'm trying to make people watch. There's a lot of dead time. Um, but I mean, like I said, I want to play this through, right? I'm going to leave it up to you. If the stamina regeneration is 
too much dead time and you're not uh, enjoying this, please leave a comment so I know. And then I might just uh, go ahead and adjust th that part. Um, we need some pokey spears too. So, um, I have two in my inventory. Let's make more. We're going to need paladin fragments. So, over here there is a bunch of stone that the cat, my Kativa, already destroyed all this stuff. Throw these in here. There's five of them right there. Um, once you have stuff in a uh, chest as well, when you run up to the chest, you can just hit F and then hit R, and it will deposit anything that's already in there automatically. So that makes it a little bit easier to get your resources stored, um, which is cool if you do start to kind of like figure out where you want stuff. Um, I always keep a, a, like a giant chest right in the center of my base. So when I come back from anywhere and I port back to my base, it's right in front of me. That way I can just pour, put everything I collected in there and stack all my resources in one place. So, let's make Pokeballs. How many can we make? We can make six. Let's make six more spheres. And then, our base here. We got some more woods. Let's go ahead and make a couple more beds. Um, I obviously don't have need for all these beds right now, but I will. So... Might as well do it right. More wood. More wood. Let's just do two more trees. And we'll uh, get all that. And we'll finish off the beds. <clears throat> that way I don't have to worry about making any more beds for this base. Because the base actually does evolve rather quickly as long as you're getting the materials. And it looks like we have everything we're going to need for a while here to get the base really booming pretty fast. So in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and put one more bed in there. My weapon is damaged. That's the next thing we're gonna have to craft. I'm gonna waste what I just got, but not waste because we need it. Um, let's go ahead and put um, another work, not a workbench, but a uh, repair, repair bench here. You can see my Kativa is helping. Once we get this done in 10 seconds. There we go. Now we can repair. All you do is click the item that's damaged. This one here. Hit repair. It will take resources from the boxes around you. And repair your items. Okay. Okay, let's get the stuff we need. We're going to need to make a shield. That's the crate. What do we need for a shield? We need 10 more pallium fragments. So let's go grab 10 pallium fragments. Those are pallium or, or pallium uh, veins. We just need to find these. You get about five per with normal mats. If you turn up the mats, you get about... 13 to 15 per small palladium. Uh, yeah, we need 10, so we're going to have to go over there and get those. And there's an effigy right there, too. We're going to talk about effigies. That green glowing thing is super, super, super important. There's a lot of them in the world. The world is very large. And we're going to collect those because we can put them into the statue that I have not built yet, that I'm going to build up there in a few minutes. And they will actually allow our capture rate for pals to go up. And that is super important when you're trying to catch some of the higher level things in this game. Because some of them are very difficult to catch. So I'm going to grab this last one. There we go. And then we're going to drown. Uh, your stamina is very important. You can literally die. If you're in the water. I don't know. I remember in Craftopia. So this game is made by the same makers of a game called Craftopia. Which I played a lot of. And a lot of the menus and systems are exactly the same. Um, but this game is much more fun. I guarantee you will have a blast. Craftopia is a really fun game. And it is free to play. Or no, maybe I bought it. I must have bought it. Huh. Alright, so it says completed. 
It says my pal box upgrade can be tins, but I built two beds, so we have three total. Let's pick up some of this stuff around here. Let's go over here to the pal box. And we're gonna hit V. And you can see I built the primitive workbench and I built my built my shoddy uh, bed so I can upgrade. I already built a second straw bed, so now we can build the feed box, which is how our Pokemans or our um ah I'm not gonna keep doing it. I'm not keep saying it, man. It is how our pals are going to eat. Like I said, I want to try and keep that pretty centered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build another platform off of this platform here. Right there. And we're going to put the food box right here. And even just because I like pretty, you don't have to do this, but if I put little stairs here, maybe I can't. It's too close to anything. doesn't matter. They can walk right up here. I wanted to go all the way around like that, but it, it won't matter. It won't matter. And it's just wasting wood. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. So we're going to make a food box, a feed box. We're going to put it right here in the center. So this is where they are going to run to to eat. Um, it's pretty centered in the base. They have about the same distance if they're working in any specific place. But I'm going to try and keep all the things they're going to be doing close to the bed and the food. I want to go ahead and drop some berries or something in here so they can eat. And they will automatically eat out of that box when they get hungry. Um, I think I'm going to redo this section too. Um, let's go ahead and... Nah, it's fine. Alright, I'm going to build my campfire, which I'm going to need more wood. Lots of resources. Let's hammer this out. I'm going to build my campfire up there. One of the reasons I'm going to put it where I put it, because I don't want anything near it that the pals are going to be going to or coming from, because they will walk through the fire and catch on fire, the same as with the player. So I always put it somewhere where there's not access to it by accident. Um, the only thing I'm going to be doing up there in that particular spot is I'm going to be cooking food, um, which I cannot do until I have a pal that has fire, which I'm going to go get one in a minute because we're going to need a few to get this farm started and to get things going here at the base. And I know they're all, the starter ones all around here, we can go catch a bunch of them in a minute. I'm going to actually make some more pal walls. Pal spheres. Let's see how many I can make right now. Max 15. Let's do that. Catching pals is one of the best things to do in this game for experience as well. And not just one, but 10 of each gives you a massive experience boost. So at the lower levels here where we are, we can catch these guys fairly easy. We should be trying to catch as many as possible. Later, it won't matter. You have got so much space for pals. And the way it works later on is you're going to be actually taking these pals and combining them together to make stronger pals. So we can catch everything that's possibly possible to catch right now. And we will use them all. But there are specific pals we need to catch. Let me hit this guy. In the oh, man. He's fast. Come here, motherfucker. Ugh, damn. Oh, that, that was my chance right there. I gotta let my stamina build back up so I can win. Um, so this is why we're gonna have a bow soon, but he's gonna get he's gonna run out of places to go in a second. Ugh, yes, I got him. 89%. I can still get him. I think I got him. Come on. Hey, bye. Cool. Alright, there's a few pals that we're definitely going to need right now to get the base started. We're going to need something that... Okay, so we need wool. So we're going to catch... I don't know if I caught one of these yet or not. I think I did. Lambel. But, might as well catch more. You got to acquire them all. Do, do, do. Now, since I have some other things going on, I'm going to put some more cats in the base for now because they actually will mine and they will collect. So let's put him in here too. And these guys carry stuff to boxes. It shows you here on the right side, the hand, what shows it in this area, shows the hand, shows what they can do. So this one can carry stuff to crates. It can mine. 
is level one of each of those things and handicraft so it can actually help make things on on benches and stuff um and then the uh gathering which means you pick up seeds or berries if they're laying or if they're on bushes and stuff but what we're going to need see this guy here he uh can gather and he also produces something in a, in a uh a ranch i don't have a ranch made yet but we will in a minute and then he will be producing eggs specifically and if you put him in a ranch he can also collect things he can um use handy stations and he can produce wool in the ranch so let's get that stuff going i also believe i can level up again right now uh, let's see where we're at before we do that we do not have a campfire yet so let's put our fire up here like i said i'm gonna put the fire right here at the edge of here And then what I usually do, which we don't have to worry about right now, but I'm going because why is he coming up here to go down there? Oh, because he was building and then he picked something up. I don't know where that was. It must have been underneath. Well, there's really no reason for the palace to go up here so they won't get burned on the fire. If you run through the fire, you catch on fire and you can see my life ticking down right there. It actually, there's no way to put it out unless you get in water. Which only works about half the time anyway. But you burn for a pretty decent amount of time. And it takes a pretty decent amount of damage. You jump in the water and the fire's out. And you're safe. If you're not near water though. It takes a little while before the fire goes out. So you gotta be careful. That's why I want my fire somewhere out of the way. Where I'm not accidentally going to be running through it down here at the bottom base. Because where the majority of the work is going to be being done. And that's why I want to make sure everything's good over here. So the closest chest to them is that one over there. I'm going to add another chest. Oops. Not that. Why, gosh. Let's put this chest right here. So now anything that comes from these mining ores, we'll just I'll throw it right here in this chest. They should start picking this stuff up and carrying it to the chest. That's what the sheep are doing. Let's see how he's still walking that direction. This guy's going right here now. So you can see how much faster this is. Now both of the sheep are in a little rotation. If I check this box, there's seven in there. There's eight. There's an ore in there now. There's nine. There's ten and a palladium fragment. It's just going to collect for us. We're going to put all those rocks in there. All right. What else do we need? There's my 15 pal balls. I built that chest very close to this station, and I keep uh, accidentally opening it. All right. Help them out. Okay, so now what we need to do is check the base, see what the next step is. We can upgrade. Build a campfire, build a barrier plantation, and deploy another pal to the base. Let's go ahead and deploy another pal to the base. And he has a bed. Yes, he does. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> they didn't finish building those beds yet, which they will get around to doing. And we can now build a barrier plantation. Nope, we need to go to technology. So, so far, we have the primitive workbench, we have a stone axe, we have a pickaxe, we have a torch, we have a wooden club, we have a pal box, we have pal screws, we have a campfire, we have a wooden chest, we have a repair bench, we have wooden structures. We have the bed, we have the pal beds, we have not made cloth yet. Um, let's do cloth and shield, get them out of the way, and the next things we're going to need are the berry plantation, and the ranch, which can produce food for us right now, and this parachute. Those are all very important things. I'm going to leave these fire arrow and fire bow out, I do not need them. It's up to you if you want them, but I'm not going to waste points on them because I'm going to be using the triple bow when I first get that. It's going to be my primary weapon for a little while until we get some actual guns. So, let's build these things. We need a berry plantation. One of the things I like to do is I build two of these. So we're going to need a bunch of wood. we got plenty of stone. we got plenty of berry seeds. So let's go get a bunch of wood. And I'm going to put two of them right around the box, the feed box. On either side of that uh, 
<coughs> the structure piece that I put there. Hopefully they'll fit. But I want to put them as close as possible because they take the berries directly to the food box. And that keeps the food box filled for your pals so they always have food. And then they don't get upset or stressed or sick. Or, I mean, they still will because that's just the way it is. But it makes it less likely that they will be not working for you. So let's go ahead and put a berry plantation right here. Can I? I cannot. That's funny. I can put it up here. That's funny. That is weird. Let's... Sure, why not? Need one more. I need uh, a little bit more wood. I'm putting the burial plantation on that. I I've never built a berry plantation on a structure before, but it works, so... Takes up less space. I'm utilizing my space well. I am very hungry. I need to eat a berry. Can you eat raw food in this game? I don't even know. You can eat raw food. Am I going to get sick? Doesn't look like it. Probably just gives you less nutrition and less sand for your guys if you don't cook it. But you can eat it. That's all that really matters, isn't it? Um, you know what? I don't like this. I'm going to take away that berry plantation that they just spent so much time building. And we're going to put it... I believe there's a mine that forms there, so I can't put it there. Let's put them here. Let's put one right here. And another one on the other side, if possible. Yeah, that looks like it'll work. So we got these two berry plantations being built. It's off. Let me fix it. God, I'm such a fucking stick. It looks, man. It looks. Let's try that again. Put this one right. Line that up with this. That's good. And it's a little further to the left. How's this one? Oh, good. Exactly. Perfect. Okay, so now to get these berry plantations working, there's a couple things we need. I can stand here for like 30 minutes while I seed this, if you see that little bar moving. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to go catch a couple more pals that can do it for us. So, um, one thing I do need to do is we need a stone spear, which is my main weapon that I do not have yet. So let's go over here to the table. What do we need for a spear? We need more wood. And we need a shield. So we need more wood for a shield. So it's 20 plus 20. So let's go get 40 wood. And we will build how many cloth? We need two cloth. So we're going to go ahead and make two cloth. I got this from wool. So that can be making. One of our cats should run over there. Or somebody. He's going to run over there and make that. Cool. And we are going to go grab some more wood. So I can make a better weapon and a shield. Weapons and shields. Very important. Very important. We need to come up with 40 wood. There's 20 right there. I got 22 already. Wait for my stamina. That's a level 15, I think. For some reason, it targeted the land bell like 550 feet away. I don't want to accidentally hit that. Let me see what it is. That is a level 15, 16. Um, ditto some. Interesting. Just wandering around the base. Uh, another cool thing about where the fire is right now is it keeps it warm. Um, I don't think the pals get cold. Uh, I, I guess they can because there's reasons like they have uh, the heaters for areas. It might just be for the player though. I'm not sure. But we're going to go enhance stats here. You can see I have one in here. I have one in here. The other thing we're going to do is health. And I have one more point. Let's put that in stamina. All right. And we can go back to technologies. Grab a few more things that we're going to need. We are going to need a Palgar workbench. Well, no, I didn't level up yet. I just didn't put my stat points in. So, let's continue. V, berry plantation. We can upgrade the base now. There's a Palgar workbench that I need and the Statue of Power. I believe that's all in the next level two, isn't it? Yeah, so these two things are what we're getting next. The ones with question marks are specific to different pals um, that we do not have yet. Um, as you gain them, these do become available regardless of how far you are down the tree. So if you have 
two up here that you didn't get and you down here and you finally see them, these two will appear and show you what they are. Um, most of them are harnesses and um, uh, seats for flying mounts and different uh, specific schematics for PALs. In fact, all of them are. But you have to find the PAL before they become available. So let's go ahead and do this. What do we have right now? We have do, 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 do. We got bed, we got that, we got cloth now. I can make the outfit now. I think I need a couple more wood. Oh, do, let's, let's find out. I might not. I might have it. So here's the two cloth. We hit F. We can make our cloth clothing. I'm using the handiwork as well. It makes it a little faster because he's going to help me. And you'll see a boost in the speed. If I let go, it slows down. If I touch it, it speeds up. Go. Require that. And bam, now I got me some clothes. All right, let's go over here. We're going to build the shield. Same thing. I'm going to help out, make it quicker. So the shield is going to go into my inventory in a slot specifically for shields. And it will give me uh, like a blue pre shield to my health. I'll show you right before I do it. I'll let this catch up. Do, 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 do. Lots of just time. <laughs> I believe there is a way you can actually speed this up too. But I'm, I'm not going to. I think I'm just going to play through the way I'm playing and let it, let it just happen. And we're going to make our spear. So now you can see I have a blue bar on the bottom left of the corner on top of my health bar. Um, that blue bar is my shield. Um, there are various better shields that you will get as you progress. Let's grab that. And I'm going to take this. Well, let's go to my character. I'm going to take this off of me and replace that with that. And then I'm going to throw that out of my inventory because I don't need it. And we'll go to the crate over here. And we will throw that stuff in there. And that. And I will eat some meat. Some raw meat. I might die of mad cow. And right now this is bothering me that there's not a, a bed there because it's just out of uh, it's out of sync here. Let me. Alright. So this is six bed. Right, or eight bed, cool. There's eight beds there. <clears throat> Let's see. Now, nobody's gonna do anything right now because it is nighttime. Let's check my weapons. We need to fix that. Wood axe, fix that. Don't have enough wood to fix the pick, but I fixed the wood axe to get wood, so that's good. Let's check this out and see where we are. V. We need a pal gear workbench and a statue of power. I might need to level, let's find out. I do need to level. All right, so we're not. We're gonna go catch the pals we need to get these farms working. Like I said I could stand here and seed them. It could take a long ass time, but I need to find a pal that can seed and a pal that can water. And we're gonna get everything moving a little faster. I think it's still nighttime. So if you sleep, it will be morning. Production, bitches. Everyone's down there doing their thing now. I almost ran right through the fire, which I thought that was a great place to put it there, but apparently maybe I need to rethink the fire situation. Uh-huh. Um, can I put another roof here, maybe? I do not have enough wood right now to do anything. <coughs> so this one over here. Chop this tree. Chop you tree, chop. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. Once this guy's knocked out, I'm going to take the wood. We're going to go back over there, and I'm going to build a roof. Another roof panel. Um, so that I don't accidentally burn myself. So, B. We can build another one. Make sure the green's going the same way. Keep it all pretty. Um, that fire now. Let's move the fire. Uh-huh, B, C, boom, B, fire, move the campfire over here, 
which will give me a little bit more time. Actually, I'm gonna put my statue right there. So I'm gonna put the fire right here. It keeps it away from the stairs, so I do not accidentally run through it. Okay, cool. I think I just leveled. I just leveled. I did. Perfect. Build that fireplace and I leveled. So let's go ahead and add into our health again. And then we're going to go to technologies and we're going to go to the next tier. We're going to grab the power workbench and the statue of power. Now if you go down here, I believe those are the two things that I need to craft to upgrade the base. But before we do that, um, where's my spear? I have my spear. Let's put my spear over here. So it's right there. I can hear my cat screaming. Yes, cat! Why are you screaming? I can hear you. I'm right here. You can come in if you want. Stupid cat. Meow. Jesus Christ, this is annoying. If the cativas did that, I wouldn't even capture them. Okay, we need a seeing and watering set. So those guys right there, those are good for watering. But I don't really need one of those because I want a flock. What is a flock? What the flock, you say? We go find us some flocks. Do, 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 do. Yes, kitty. Yeah, let's get some berries too. Since we don't have a berry farm going yet, collecting berries is uh, just as good. Yes, meow. Yes, kitty. Why are you yelling? I can see you. Hey, father. Yes? Me and mommy to deal. What you, what's your deal? Okay, so when she gets her in, uh, income tax, I'm going to get my lip pierced with her. Oh, kick ass. Because I want to get my lip pierced so bad. Okay. Uh, I feel like it'd like look really cute. I think so, yeah, yeah. It'd be cool. Also. He wants a little hoop. Yeah. I want the, like little hoops that like go like. On the side. Yeah, like, like the side ones. Okay. Emo hoop. Yeah. Emo hoop. Yes, that's what they are. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's cute. I want one too. I want, like, a we black can one do now. that. I want to get, like, a black one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. I yeah. didn't, I didn't make the parachute. I forgot the... that I did not make the parachute and tried to use it. But that's okay. Right now, we are coming down here. I am all kinds of lost. Um, there's another... Oh, so the freaking COVID shots where they talk to you and, like, they just do it. And then you're gonna... Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. You've had COVID shots. Those that I've heard. Okay. So there is another... Fast travel point right here. So that means that it doesn't hurt right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then... That looks like a chest. Is that a chest? That's a chest. Let's grab the chest and the wood. Got some more berries. And I did not find the Pokemans that I wanted. I'm sorry, the, the pal that I'm looking for. It's going to take me a while to stop calling the Pokemon. It will. It's going to take a little bit. Is that an egg? That is an egg. Collect that for later. As a Mammarist, which we are not going to fuck with right now because it will stomp us to death and by accident. That's how powerful it is compared to me right now. Where the flock? Hmm. There's another Mammarist. Okay, so the two pals that I'm looking for, I'm not seeming to find them. There's another chest hiding over there, though. You know, I, oh, you need a copper key for that one. I would uh, capture this one, but he's going to be a bitch because he runs at the same speed as me. Unless he runs into the wall over here. Wait, he's trapping himself. Oh, nope, nope. He's climbing the wall. He's like, nope, fuck this, I'm out. He's coming back down. Die, penguin. Actually, don't die. Uh, just lose enough life that I can throw a Pokeball at you. Pal sphere. So I can throw a pal sphere at you. Oh, not yet. Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. Hell no. What the fuck? Get over here. You little son of a bitch. This guy is not one of like. Whoa, come on. I wasted one. 64? Is that enough? Is it enough? It was enough. Good. Okay. Well, there's my watering. Uh, he does water, right? Let me check my party. 
He does cooling, handiwork, watering, and transportation. Watering is good. So we have a watering uh, pal now. That one's shooting at me. I'm just going to ignore him. Also, you know, I could be using the pals that I do have, like, uh, and have them out. He's probably the best one I have right now. We'll bring him. We still need to catch something that can plant. I believe... There's some planting, guys. We're actually way back over by the base. We're, like, so out of the way right now. That's right. Screamy cat. Right, let's climb this. Head back up the river. Looking for specifically, I'm looking for a ground, I think they're called ground, groundlings? Not groundling, that sounds so wrong. Like that's not the name of them. Usually some around this area. There's usually a couple flocks over here too, which I don't see. Something's going weird. Something is not right. Something is different. Can I make that? Ooh. Oh, close enough. Hmm. Ooh, is that a night? Light? Uh, night wing. Yeah, it is. Huh. Game is starting to get a little bit laggy too. I've noticed that once I explore for a little while, um, I need to kind of restart the game. I think the memory, the way it loads, it continuously keeps things in memory. Um, it could just be a memory dump issue. But I noticed that the longer you play, the more it starts to lag. And if you uh, leave the game and come right back in, um, everything works again. I definitely need to find something that can plant. Usually, they're right around the other side over there where I was. I'm in a chest. I don't know if I can open this one either. Oh, I can. Hmm. I need something that can plant. I cannot continue making my base without having berries to feed my peeps my pals my little pals it should be should be some ground pals right here like down in that area right there by that little clip it is usually oh oh okay fire sparks or uh, fire fire fox what's his name fox sparks close enough i want one of these because this is going to be my main pal for now I'm going to have to take on two of them at once, so let's find out if I can do this without getting killed. Where's that at? 74? If I can catch a second one. If I can catch a second one. <laughs> I got it. Both of them. Hell yes. All right. So I'm actually going to pull him out. These are my my new favorite uh, starter pals here. He does a decent amount of damage. You can watch this. He's going to kill that chicken. Boom. Oh, he didn't die. Well, he has to level up. He's not level one yet. He's a level two. Let's let him kill. Fight. In fact, oh, too late. More time. Come on. Catch him too. He might come out of that. Then again, he might not. There's a coin toss right there. You can see down here on the right where they pop up, it shows you how many you've caught. So I've caught two of them. Um, every, when you catch ten of each, you get a pretty decent sized bonus that will actually help you throughout the game. You just keep 
getting 10 of everything, you get a, a pretty massive bonus XP, especially when you get a higher level. And I believe they scale. Um, at least I was told that by somebody. I am not seeing the ground guys that I need. I'm not seeing them at all. What could they possibly be? Oh, there one. There we go. Gun moss. There you go, bitch. Motherfucker. I'm going to kill this bitch right here. I'm not going to kill him. I'm going to catch him. Don't kill him. Catch him. Oh, he killed him. My fox bark shot him. Oh, uh, do you think I can take one of these guys right now? This is level 10. What level am I? I'm level 6. Eh, it's kind of like a death wish. I want to catch one of those for a mount, but not yet. Not yet. This is another gun moss right there. Let's take gum moss here. I'm gonna let Fox Spark shoot him. He killed him again. God damn it! All right, I'm I'm taking Fox Spark away because he's too powerful already. Oh man, that was damn it, damn it, damn it! I killed two of them. Actually, I didn't kill either one of them. Fox Sparks did. I'm gonna rename Fox Sparks. Um, he's gonna be my 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 pretty much my party pal for the rest of the game. So level six one here. Let's see the details on these guys and see. Uh, let's see, he's killing one obviously. Attack, defense, they have no special stats at all. Blood of the dragon. 10% increase to dragon attack damage. Okay. What about the other one? How do I go back? Previous tab Q. No, that's not what I wanted. Party, what about this one? He's got cold-blooded, 10% increase to ice attack damage. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the 6th. And we're going to edit him, and we're going to rename him to Sparky. And Sparky is going to be my, my, main, my main squeeze when I give him Huggy Fire. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Huggy Fire him. He's going to burn, baby, burn everyone for me. But we're going to see if we can make him, like, super powerful for endgame content. It's going to be great. Lots of breeding. We're going to breed out the bad shit. Breed in the good shit. Um, okay, so I, I need to get another one of these moss, gum moss guys, and not kill him. So that's Fox Sparks. I don't want Fox Sparks. I want Sparky. This is my Sparky right here. He my, he my main man. Level 6, just like me. Where are more Gamas? Ha, ah, man, there was two of them, and I killed both of them. Uh, Fox Sparks. Why did you have to kill them? I just need something to plant, and Gunmoss could have planted. But not now, because they're dead. Dead Gunmoss. Is that one alive? Ah, oh, it's one of the ones we killed. Hmm. While we wait, if I die, we're not that far away from base. Is this a 10? Oh, they're going to run for... Well, there's no fucking way I'm going to catch that. Yeah, once I get the arrows, the triple shot bow, then we'll we'll go hunting and get some some better stuff. There's another effigy. I'm going to get the glider in a second, too. We're already an hour in. Wow. Shit, when I did this, like, before, it, I got through all this probably in, like, 20 minutes. So I'm being a lot more casual. Hmm. Right, let's swim over here. I got to figure out. We need a planting guy. Once we get back to the base, we'll have a lot to do. Is that another egg? It's an egg. We'll just collect these for later. That is a large dark egg. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. How many Pokeballs do I have? 14? Both dead gum mosses right there. Let's 
man. It would have been perfect. I could have got that and just poured it right back to the base and there wouldn't have been an issue. But no, my stupid ass had to have Foxy out. I'm going to call him Foxy. I'm going to call him Foxy. That sounds like a cooler name. So take Sparky and we'll edit his name. He's going to be Foxy. Yep. Foxy. All right, Foxy. Oh, there's one. Go away. I don't want you killing this one. I'm going to stab him until his life is extremely low. And then I'm going to throw a ball at his face. Which is actually not smart. You're supposed to throw him at his back. You get a, a bonus for catching uh, pals from the back. But I got him. That's all that matters. And now since oh, look, the game is starting to lag like crazy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go down here to this waypoint. And port back to my base. I wonder if there's something I can do to get this guy. Let's see if I can... I got him. Okay, I'm gonna die. <laughs> this was not a good idea. Uh, you know what I can do? Oh, my fox box is already dead. Let's port back to base before he hits me. <laughs> yeah, see, so yeah, yeah, that wasn't good. All right, so when one of your pals is dead, you put him into the pal box. It's Foxy. He's red. He has a 10 minute recovery time and he'll be back alive once he gets that. I'm going to put everybody in here. We're going to drop you in here. I'm going to take out you because you're sleeping in the middle of the fucking day. Let's take a look at these guys too and see where their stats are at. So the cats. This one is coward. Um, I think I can hit F for details. So coward. Attack is minus 10. Doesn't really matter. And 10 increased uh, grass attack damage. None of those things really affect his work ability. Um, so, he's fine. What about you? Uh, you are a coward and waterproof. Uh, decreased incoming water damage. They should have traits as well. I guess... Cat helper. <laughs> That's his partner skill. Um... Looks like they don't have any bad traits. That that's good. Okay. Um, he's got abnormal, which is what. Uh, work suitability. They don't have any. Uh, I'm looking for something I'm not seeing on him. Oh, slacker. That's great. The one I caught is slacker. Is work speed thirty percent less. That's a bad one. I don't know if I'm going to be using that. What about these guys? Um, he's got a normal. He seems completely normal with no passive skills. So let's throw him in there to do the watering. And my seeding guy is going to take 30% lower. But all, his only job is seeding. So I'm just going to let him. I mean, let's see how fast... Ah, fuck it. It's happening. It's happening. You know, I probably will replace him. Looks like he already has this one seeded. Yeah, you know what? He's he's okay, but I'm going to replace him with the faster one to get uh, faster production on the seeds. But either way, for right now, that's that's fine. That's fine. So we got those guys mining. We're going to throw that egg in there. Um, R. I'm going to build another... Uh, Wooden chest. I kind of put it right about here. You go, speedies. Look at that. Boom. Everyone's like, fucking, we're building this chest right now. Instantaneously. And we got some arrows, too, from somewhere. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see where we're at with the base building. So I hit B here. What haven't we made? We have not made the Pal Gear workbench. We need cloth for that. So we'll hit the table here. And we will make two more cloth, which I have. Good. Once that's done, we're going to build the Pal Gear workbench. And we need to build a ranch. We are going to need 50 wood. 
So let's go grab some more wood while we're waiting. And it just so happens there are a lot of wooden trees, because trees are made of wood, directly around my base. Making gathering a little bit easier. And these are the, the normal gather rates in normal mode right now. I haven't upped anything and I wasn't planning on changing anything. I'm probably going to do two hours on this one. So we'll grab our cloth. And then we need to make nothing else right now. Just put some cloth and wood in there. I'm going to eat some food because I haven't eaten in a long time. I forgot. I forgot to eat. See, all my pals are in good condition, so they must be eating and sleeping. Working a little slow, probably a slacker. Yep, that is very true. Um, I am going to go replace that guy, but not yet. Not yet. First, we're going to go ahead and build the statue of power. Yeah, I got plenty of stone. Let's build the statue of power, and then we're going to build the uh, other thing. So what I'm going to do with the statue of power, I'm going to put it... Probably right here, just overlooking the base, so it looks all cool. And I'm too close to that. They're gonna take care of that. And they're in the fire. It's like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm fucking stupid. I, I I set them up for this. I was like, oh, I'm gonna put the fire so we're safe, and the pals don't have to work. And then I put something up there for them to do, and they're standing in the fucking fire. It's okay. They're gonna live. They're gonna live, right? They are gonna live. I might be a little pissed, but they're going to live. So this statue here is important. This is where the effigies come in. So if I talk to this statue, if I can get far enough away from the fire, if I talk to... Huh. There we go. If I talk to this statue, um, there are two things I can do here. I can enhance the pets by hitting V. Um, I can offer pal souls to put new stats into the pets or I can hit F and I can build my capture power up so for one effigy it will enhance the next one I need four effigies and I have one so when I get four effigies I come back here do that again and it will enhance my capture rate um so yeah let's go down here real quick and build the ranch that's the last thing I think we need to build on this tier and we'll get some egg production and some wool and some other cool shit. I want this close to the food source. I don't want to cover any of the mines. I don't believe there's any mines here, so I'm just going to put it right there. Yeah, that works for me. Um, my pals are all sleeping because it is nighttime and only one of them is actually sleeping in a bed. Not much I can do about that. So I'm going to sleep in the bed and make it daytime. And then when I wake up, I am going to enhance my stats. We got two in here, two in here, one in here. We're going to put one in the weight. Okay. And then we're going to go technology and see what we can learn now. So let's check it out. So far, we have that, 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 cloth, shield, stone spirit, outfit, feed box. We don't have a parachute. We need a parachute. And now we can make a logging site and a stone pit, which is going to be much more beneficial than just the few trees and stones we have around here. And then that's all I'm really going to take right now. I'm going to get the fox bark harness because I do have five points left and I want this. So. I'll show you what this does. So this is our first pal thing. We had to make the pal bench, which we didn't make to level the base. So let's make the pal bench. Go level the base. And put it right over here with the other uh, benches. I need more wood. I'll just get 20. 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 17, 17, 18, 22. Good enough. All right. This is going to be where we make all the things for our pals. Those are all the question marks in the uh, technology menu. So we'll build this up right quick. The pals helping. It's going faster. 
About 10 seconds left. Lots of downtime. Lots of downtime. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I can build a fox bar harness. I need leather and flame organs. So it looks like we're going to have to go kill some more fox barks or catch them. Oh, and also mission complete on the base. We can upgrade the base. Let's do that. There we go. Pell gear workbench is done. The statue of power. An upgrade. And now, crusher, stone pit, and logging site. Let's go ahead and add a pal. I'm going to add the other fire sparks. I got 53 seconds on this guy, and then he'll be ready to go again. Let's go by pal deck. Okay. Um, fire sparks will cook food, the one I put in the, bay, the base here. So let's go up here and throw some food on to cook. I'm going to keep the eggs uh, because we're going to need those to make cake later. I should have made more than one, but whatever. Um, the cake is going to be important for breeding, which I haven't really dabbled in too much yet. There are some very sophisticated guides on the internet about how to get exactly what you want from breeding. And and uh, there's a, a spreadsheet that I was uh, been told about to make me aware of that we can look up at some point together maybe. But right now, he's seeding, he's watering. Let's check out how much food we have. Let's just see. Look at that, 49? Uh, I'm gonna, well, I have 44 in my inventory, but okay. So it's not happening as quickly as I'd like for the uh, food production here. Let's get my Foxy back out. Okay, so Foxy's back with me. Uh, let's see. All right, Foxy, let's roll. We are going to go catch. I'm going to go catch another Gummus or gum grass, or where the fuck his name is. Oh, we're not. We're not. We forgot something vitally important. I totally forgot to make something vitally important. Probably going to need some cloth, and I just picked up a piece of wool, which is what I'll need. We need to make a glider. So we need two cloth and ten wood. Um, let's see. We should have wool now. At least it should be being produced in here. <clears throat> Let's put a wooden. Okay, I need wood. All right, we need wood cloth. Yeah, I think what I might do is actually just go and kill. Okay, nobody I have right now is harvesting wood because I do not have a wood harvester in here. Um, let's go see what we can find that might harvest wood. And while we're out, we're going to go kill a couple of these uh, these guys here. Or catch them to get some more wool. Oh my god, Fox Barks! Motherfucker! I'm trying not to kill them. And I keep forgetting that Fox Barks likes to take that last shot. Oh, I do all the heavy work with the axing, and then he comes along like, yeah, I'm supposed to be fighting. Just fucking fire blasts the shit out of whatever I'm trying to not kill. It's annoying. Um, you do... What's cool about this, this guy's roll... Is he dead? I'm assuming he's dead. He's just rolling away. Is he gonna go all the way down the hill? I hope he's dead. If not, he's getting really fucking dizzy. Is he gonna keep going? Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> that was great. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, uh, I forgot my glider, which is what I'm trying to make right now. Let's go catch another gun moss here and see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let him attack him. I'm not going to let him attack him. He's going to come back in his ball. I'm going to attack him by myself so he doesn't die. Oh my god, he fucking died. <laughs> I thought I could do one more. I should have I just... 
Jeez, man. I'm having a lot of trouble with this one fucking pokey guy, you know? Is that Fwok? That's not Fwok. I thought there was Fox around here. Fwok is like the Psyduck of Pal World. Hmm. I need to catch a gum moss that's not shit. How much wool do I have? Six. All right, I have enough to make the glider. Um, let's take one more quick look. I do not see a gun moss. Gum moss. Gum moss. I will port back. There's an effigy over there. We'll get there. We'll get there. In fact, that's the way we'll go once we go start to explore. All right, I'm just kind of focusing on building up the base. We have some materials being made. So I can always come back here and get what I need easily and quickly without having to worry too much. I'm going to go grab a beer. I think I'm going to keep playing. So let me get a beer. Sons of bitches. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see where we at. Okay, what do we need to do? What do we got going? I'm at the base. It's funny that it faces you toward this. Eh, it's just the way it is, but whatever. So we're going to go right here and make some cloth. We need two, I believe. Once that's done getting made, um, we need leather for Fox Power and Flame Morgan. Oh, yeah, we were doing that too. Let's go get that stuff. Let's go get it. I just got back to. Ah, let's wait for the glider. Let's wait for the glider. We'll build the glider first. If I help with this, it'll go faster. Oh, yeah, much faster. Now, let's see. Do I have enough for the glider? I do. I do have enough for the glider. Let's build that motherfucker. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, rolling rock. Cheap, good beer. I need a cigarette, too, actually. Let him finish that while I get a cigarette. I just oh, okay all right so now I got a glider we all right that's gonna make a huge difference now we need to go catch we need to go kill a fox barks or catch another fox barks to get the uh, specifically uh, fire glance that's what we're looking for and also after the fire glance we need to get some leather so I'm not a hundred percent sure we get leather at this moment something drops it because we found some maybe the cats I don't think the cats drop leather did they? red berries wait did I get anything at all not really uh, there's a, let's see Foxy's level 7, because I'm level 7. You get leather from the penguins? <coughs> I'm just killing shit right now. I don't even care. Um, you know, you get the power fluids from water. Hmm. 
Where can I find me some leather? I might have got the leather that I do have from a chest. Maybe. The best bet is to maybe find some more chests. Explore a little bit over here. Don't have one of you. Seventy four. Let's see. Good enough. Mm -hmm. I might keep one of them too and call him Fluff or Fluff Bunny. I want. I want to call him Fluff Bunny. Fluff Bunny sounds like a good name. Let's go talk to this guy over here. I wonder if killing those guys would have given me leather, the fluff bunny thing. <clears throat> Probably. Let me kill this chicken. <coughs> Chickpea! Should be catching these. There's no point in me not catching these. In fact, catching these would be leveling me. You're a new face? Don't tell me. An outsider? Not that it matters to me now that you're on this island. Why not try and catch some pals? You can get extra XP for catching up to 10. Yeah, I know. Uh, 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 you know what they say. Pal tamers get stronger the more pals they capture. Here, take this. I've got high hopes for you. Is it pal balls? Oh, it's fragments. I can make more pal balls. Here's another effigy. If I get two more of those, we can bring up our capture rate. And this is a data thing, which is a storyline kind of thing. You found a note from another adventurer. You can check your journeys. Let's check our journeys. Uh, how do I check our journeys? <laughs> Wait, inventory here? Key items? No. Uh, party? No, oh, technology? Hmm. Not do guild. Journals. There we go. Okay, so this is the first one. Castaway journal, day one. This world harbors a secret. I was convinced of this when I began re-examining the globe's geographical features from my research towards the end of the last year. Looking over the islands of the world, I noticed something strange. It felt like a certain area was empty, so to speak. I knew there should have been something there. It was unbelievable to me how no one could have noticed such an obvious absence in this location. Within a few months of preparation, I was successfully able to guess the location of an island based on my hypothesis. With conviction in my heart, I charted a boat and set out for the island alone. Hmm. So there's an island out there. An island out there. It's actually multiple islands out there. They are specifically... Oh yeah, I already talked to you. I don't know why I'm talking to you again. Could try to capture him. I don't want to capture him. Oh look, there's our mounts that we're going to get eventually. So I guess I got everything I can get right here. Where can I find leather, guys? I need leather. Where the fuck on leather? There's another egg. Take that for incubation later. Hmm. Is that another egg over there? What is that? It's glowing over there. Let's go see if I can figure it out. Looks like an effigy stand, but there's no effigy. Did I already come all the way down here? I don't remember getting this one. I don't think I came this far. Oh, yeah, I did. I remember walking up this. I did do this. Okay. Good members. Good members. I'm going to back over here. Can I make it? Nope. Uh-oh. I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna fucking drown. Look at my life ticking. I'm gonna drown. If I die, I'm gonna die in the water and I'm not gonna get able to get my shit. Oh man. Uh huh. I'm gonna die in the water. Wait, can I stand right here? Nope. Nope. Last chance. Oh, dead. My first death. Because I missed shot. I didn't make it across the water with my glider. Another reason, we need stamina. Stamina is so very, very, very important. Alright, there's some wool being manufactured now. I need to go back to my body. That's what we're doing. Um, well, there's a lot of shit just laying around. Where's... 
There it is. Let's unload this stuff. And go get my stuff. Okay. I see my beam of light right there. I don't have my glider. I have nothing. I'm just aimlessly running. It's something I kind of wanted to avoid by turning that off, the drop items off. Which I very well might do. Because I'm realizing... If I die again, do I lose that point? Because that fire sparks over there wants to kill me. Oh shit, it dropped my items up on top of the ridge. What the fuck? It actually took me out of the water. That's that's kind of cool. All right. Well, that's that's okay. Let's uh make sure that I have enough flight to get across. I don't think it'll matter because I'm not going to die. Well, that guy, the fucking chicken tried to push me into the fucking river. Did you see that? Motherfucker wanted me to die. Okay, good. Pink, 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 pink. Okay, I'm gonna fly back across here. I don't have a, I don't have a glider because it's in the bag that I'm trying to get to. But it's okay. We're gonna get the bag. Not a problem. I just have to make sure that I have enough stamina to fly across the water this time. How the fuck did I do it last time then? Maybe swimming takes less stamina. Okay. Well, there's my bag. There's my stuff. I'm taking everything with X. And there I am, back the way I was. Cool. Now, can I make this? Oh, yeah, I can make it. Like a boss. All right. Wait for my stamina, and we'll climb this wall. All right. We're back up on the mainland. Let's find the fucking gun moss, and we need leather still, which I'm not finding. I might have to go somewhere else to hunt for leather. Um, what does that produce? Let's go to Pal deck here. I didn't see a lymph monk, did I? How the fuck did I see a tansy? I didn't see those. What? What? All right, I want to see what this does. Um, he produces wool possible drops. Okay. No leather. Hmm. Do I get leather from the groundling guys? Let's see. I gotta catch this one, actually. Let's see if I get leather. Nope. Berry seeds and a gun moss leaf. What's a gun moss leaf do? Drop from a gun moss used to make clothing. I've never actually seen a recipe with a gun moss leaf in it. Must be some hardcore endgame shit. Because I got pretty close to the end game. Um, we need fire or flame organs, so I gotta kill these fox sparks. Actually, God, they're so fast. Slow down. Where's the other one at? Foxy's shooting at it. Ah, uh, I tried to catch. Ah, uh, too late. It's okay. I got the flame organs. Got three. All right, we have enough flame organs. We need leather. We need two leather. Just two. Let's check out this uh, gun moss I got. What is his shit? Minor injury. Dainty eater. That's good. Sanity drops 10% slower. Okay, he's a good worker. He's going to work at full speed, and he's going to eat less. That's my kind of pal. I'm going to grab another flame organ just to have a couple extra. Maybe catch this fox sparks, too. Let's see, we're at 53%. It's a coin toss. Looks like we're going to do it. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go. Where can I get leather? Leather, 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 leather. Hmm. It's getting dork. I start heading back toward my base. It's getting dork. 
Dork days ahead. Oh, beautiful waterfall up there in the dark. See my crazy bass line going up the fucking... My blue line that melts down the mountain. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Alright, let's get back up here. And... I'm going to climb this wall. Full stamina. I still cannot make my fox bark harness. Which makes me sad. Okay, gun moss, you're getting replaced. Let's see. I'm going to replace you with you. And you are going to be a much better cedar. Yes, sir. I can feel it in my bones. Uh, where's the other box at? This one? Yeah. Sure. Um, let's pull you out. Did I not put a box in here? I feel like I should have put a box in here. How about that? Five seconds. Boom, boom. Alright. Let's open this up. And throw the wool in there. Hmm. Be careful not to spray my foxy. Um, I still cannot make a harness. What do we need for the next uh, thing? I think I probably leveled while I was out there too. So we need to build the stone pit, the logging site, and the crusher. Let's go ahead and check out our build. We need wood for sure. Let's go harvest some more wood. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get the wood and stone pits going. Um, they'll actually produce much more. I need to get something that can harvest wood though. That's doing that. We did not level yet, but it says we have new technology. Oh, just should I haven't picked out. Okay, so I need to get to level eight. Let's just keep banging away at this tree. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Probably need to eat, because I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, you need to eat. More trees. Yeah, so right now I think we're doing pretty okay with stone. So maybe I will build the, uh, the logging site right now and then see if we can go find something to mine it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and build the logging site. We're going to build it over here. Right here looks good. Kind of out of the way. There's a chest right there. Let's take advantage of that. Let's do this one. Haunted Hathaways. Spin this around. Where I like it. I like it right, right there. Okay. All right. And what do I need for the stone site? Oh, I'm ready to build a stone pit. Okay, we're gonna build a stone pit right here next to. Yeah, okay, right there. I think I just stopped stone from spawning, but at least I still have this here, which is fine. Um, let's put another crate if I have enough wood, which I don't. I need to get some more wood. Just harvesting, harvesting, harvesting. Lots and lots of harvesting. Put another wooden crate right here next to the stone pit. And since it is nighttime, I'm not going to build that. Let them build that. Let's go to sleep. Let's go sleeping. 
That's what we're going to do. Get some sleepy on. Get everybody working in the morning. That is what I'm talking about, friends. Morning time, I can come over here and watch all my guys hard at work on the pokey farm. Sorry, pal farm. Okay, so I think I can also upgrade my base now. No, because they have to be built. I need a crusher as well, which I can't do yet because I don't have the level for that. So, you know what we might do? Let's go on a vacation. Let's go ahead and fast travel somewhere. Actually, I can't. I was thinking I could fast travel. I might have to actually kill myself. Oh no. Yeah, it's gonna be very difficult to move around. Hmm. That's okay. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Let's go ahead and go exploring then. While well, this is happening, let's, let's go ahead and fast travel to the next point here. And we will just head north. We'll kind of go explore. It's just a regular egg. We'll take it. So we'll go back through here and we'll just follow this path and see where it goes. Fox barks out. Foxy. Let's roll, Foxy. Let's go explore this world. Let's go see where we end up. What is that? That's another Fox barks. So we're going to go ahead and just follow this path and see where we end up. Go find another, uh, another fast travel point. There's a tower. A beautiful large tower. Something crazy is going on over there. Even better, though, maybe we'll find some new pals. One of which might be able to log, chop down some trees for us. This is pretty big over here. Let's, uh, let's go this way. I wonder if I can catch that one. Let's see what level that is. I need a bow, and I haven't gotten to the level where I, I can get a bow yet. But what could help me get to that level is catching a bunch more shit. There's a Nightwing. Level 11. I am level 8. I don't want to fuck with that yet. What level are you, though? 11. <laughs> That's certain death also. Oh, there's a Lift Monk. I don't think Lift Monks can... Uh... I don't know. I want to catch this Lift Monk, though. Nice hat. You should make smokes. I should make smokes. You should. Thanks. Hold on. Okay. Let me let me let me try and catch this lift monk that's running away. Shoot him. Shoot him, Foxy. Shoot him. What? I was talking to my pet. Oh, well, you should do that while making smokes. I, I, hold on. I got him. Hold on. He's still running. I stabbed him with a fucking spear, and he's still running. I'm on. I want this lift monk. Damn it. Not giving up. Oh my gosh. Foxy tried to cut him off too. That was cool. No, I just need to be a little bit closer. Oh my god. Where is he taking me? Oh, he's, don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. I'm, I'm fucking out. Ah. Foxy, shoot him. Come on, shoot the bitch. He's like, he's trying. Oh, hell no. You fucking ass. He's level three. Why is he so hard to kill? Just a couple more hits. A couple more hits. Oh, could have been one. One. Oh my god. One more. Okay. Don't shoot him. If you shoot him right now, I'll kill you. Did I get him? 73%. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, but bam! All right, got to me a lift monk. Kick ass. Um, what do lift monks do? What's my name? Oh, he went in my box because I have too much other shit, so I can't even check him. Right. I mean, I can, but 
He's not with me. Uh, so let's see. Lift monk, lift monk, lift monk. Um, he, low grade medical supplies, possible drops. Okay, um. I do not see. What, cry? Oh, I can make him cry. That's hilarious. Um, this is habitat. Don't care. There's a lot of lift monks around. Um, I kind of wanted to know what he's got. Lumbering. He has lumbering. Fuck yes. Okay, I caught me a lumbering Pokemon. I mean, I have a lumbering pal. All right. That's good. Um, there is a tower in front of me up there. Let's let's go ahead and head this way. See if we can unlock another fast travel point. And at that point, uh, we can fast travel back to our base. So I'm pretty sure there's a fast travel point up here by this tower. In fact, I know for a fact because I'm looking at it on my map. You, someday I'm going to catch one of you. Someday soon. Oh, there's a fucking bunch of pal balls. Pal spheres laying around. And palladium. Stunning leather. I <coughs> don't know what to kill to get leather. <coughs> I'm going to climb this mountain. Sweet. And there it is. There it is. As soon as I make it there. Wow, my, my, my uh, stamina is not going down too fast when I run anymore. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh what is this? It's a dungeon. Level 13. I'm going to mark this on the map. If I can. Oh, no. Can I zoom in any more than this? Oh, that is a horrible place for a dungeon. I'm trying to mark it on the map, and uh, it's a little tough. I'll work, though. I'll work. Okay. So, dungeon. Uh, let's go to this guy right here. Hit the fast travel point. Boom. And I will be right back. I got to go do something. Something. Got to do something. Okay, where is we at? So what's we doing? We're going to use this fast travel point I just got. We're going to head all the way back to the base. Look at this. Look at how we're opening up map by exploring and whatnot. I kind of want to go back over here. Let's go do a little bit more exploring. Let's go the, this way over here. It looks like 
we need to go west. So this way west. I think I'm actually going to see if we can follow and get on the other side of this river. And that's technically where we went. But I want to go this way. Actually, I want to go, yeah, I want to go west. It looks like I probably can't go west. Okay, wait, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go back to the base and put my dude there like I was going to do. I know what I'm doing. I just fucking totally forgot everything that was going on. Now it's all like flooding back into my head. We have a lift monk now. And we can upgrade the base now. And I believe I leveled. Yes, I did. So we're going to go to level. We're going to put this into stamina. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to the base. Back to the base, base. And we should be able to upgrade the base. We need to build a crusher, which I can do now because we can go to technology. We can get the crusher right here. Um, and then we can, that's all we can do, get the crusher. Let's get the crusher, let's put the crusher down. So the crusher is gonna make us pal balls out of, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't upgrade the base until I build the crusher. That's what we're doing. Let's build the crusher, upgrade the base, and put our woodworking pal in there to start gathering wood for us. I'm gonna put the crusher way over here because we don't actually need to use it that much right now. Uh, I should probably keep it close to the rest of the work stations though. Yeah, right here looks good. Let's put it right here. I think there's a pal thing that spawns on the other side, but that's fine. So. We need 35 wood. Well, we have 35 wood. We need 50 wood. Let's go cut this tree. I'm going to grab these stones, too. Give me the wood, bitches. Yeah, I, I keep going back and forth whether or not I want to uh, speed up the drop rates on the resources. I think we're okay right now. Um, I think I'm just going to keep playing. Do this straight through like I should. And when I edit it. I might actually just speed through a lot of the process of me fucking harvesting. And my weapon's broken. Still got the tree though. Alright. But that's, you know, what I'm talking. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it works. Probably just leave it exactly the way it is and just post these the way they are. It looks like this is going to be a two hour fucking playthrough though. So. Let's get these up because they're all free mind free mind and we'll put them in here are they actually harvesting from this node not really you know what I'm gonna break this node down I'll just put the ore in here I should be doing that every time this node is here I need to get rid of it and you do not get a lot of ore without the boosts on materials. I just got eight, nine. I need like thousands of this. Thousands. I feel like I may actually increase the rates. We'll see how well the base does like without me here but so far they haven't even started touching this or at least maybe I'll drop the HP on the nodes to make it a little bit quicker to destroy them and up the rates on the respawn I don't know I don't know 
just know that I want this node completely destroyed so I can put it in the chest. And I'm getting close to my limit of carry weight. Come on. This is just going to be like a ridiculous amount of time of dead video of me just hammering away at shit. 36. That's horrible. Alright. Fuck it. Let's agree the base. Nobody built the crusher. Oh, because I didn't have the wood. Now I do. Crusher. Boom. Perfect. Let's build this fucker and then upgrade the base and throw in our woodworking guy. And then I will not need to harvest for wood anymore. Well, that's the plan. Stan. Also, I want to check my food supply and see if it's going up. I think I, I, I might at least two times the, the gathering rate. So we don't have so much dead time in the, in, the, in the videos. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm so confused right now. I want to play through like normal, but as long as I don't fuck with the damage taken and damage given, um, everything will be still challenging enough. Because waiting for this stuff is, is like not fun. <laughs> I still have to build everything. It's not like it's just going to make it a little bit easier for me to get the materials to actually build shit. Um... So I might do that, but right now, let's go ahead and upgrade the base. Now we can upgrade the base. We can go boom, level seven already. And now we're going to need to build a hot spring and a primitive furnace, which I can't do yet because I'm not high enough level, which is another reason to boost the XP, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to explore to boost the XP. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So let's throw the lift monk in here. That's not right. Let's throw the lift monk in here. You go in, boom. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys, and I have eight beds, so we're still good. Don't need to do anything there. Let's see how food production's been. Mm. Well, 125. They're still doing it. They're harvesting right now. Over here, he's watering. So, I mean, it's happening. It's just happening slowly. I still have 43 on me. I need to eat. Foxy needs to eat. The rest of these guys can go in my pal thing, because I don't really need them with me. I might... Did I catch two... Oh my god, what did I just do? No, no, no. What did I just do? I took out all the guys from my base. Is that the good one? Dainty Eater, yeah, okay. Uh, capacitor, normal. What's capacitor? Um, increased lightning attack damage. Okay. Alright. So there. Okay, I should have somebody in each of these now. Somebody should be mining. There we go. Got the cat mining. Someone should be working in the wood farm. Is uh, Lift Monk. Lift Monk is chopping. Um, we need to put a chest here. Never have enough chests. Build them everywhere. So now, when they pick up stuff from the mine, it will come straight into this box here. Um, he's mining away there. We got 3 out of 9,999. Over here we got... 29 out of 9,999. <laughs> yeah, this is going to take a bit. I think I'm going to up these material drops. I really do. And I think I'm approaching. We're at two hours. I'm going to go ahead and call this video right now. If you did enjoy this video, if you're watching and you actually watched it all the way through, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Hit those follow, like, subscribe, and share buttons and get me some views. That would be awesome. And uh, I'll see you guys in part number two. And we'll start right here. Fuck it. Right here. Right where we are right now. All right. Peace out. Hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. If you like what I do, please hit those follow, like, subscribe, and share buttons. And for links to my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, my YouTube, the MMOing store, the podcast, and more, check out my website. MMOing.news.blog And if you want to help me get a real.com and keep the stream flowing smoothly, 
consider becoming an MMOing supporter. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next stream.